so this is the two point butterfly structure which is also considered as the basic building block of the FFT structure now as we just discussed every single two point butterfly structure will take two samples at its input which are here represented by A and B and this A sample will appear as it is during addition operation while the B sample will be multiplied with two total factors firstly we have to multiply B sample value with the W and K total factor and then we will add it with A sample value in order to produce C which will be considered as the first output sample value of this single two point butterfly structure similarly in order to produce the second sample of the two point butterfly structure which is here represented by D we have to add A which will appear as it is during addition and we have to multiply B with WN K plus N by 2 before addition so in simple words in every single butterfly operation we are providing two samples at the input we are using two total factors which are WNK and WNK plus N by 2 and then we will get two frequency domain sample values which are C and D so what will be the expressions of C and D C will be equal to A plus WNK times B and what is D? D is equal to A plus WNK plus N by 2 times B now our task is we have to find how many multiplications and addition operations have been performed during these calculations or in other words in order to produce C and D which are the output values of a single two point butterfly structure how many multiplies and addition operations have been performed so here as you can see we have performed two multiplications this is the first multiplication we have multiplied B with W and K total factor and the second multiplication is in between B and W and K plus N by 2 which shows that we have performed two complex multiplications and how many additions are there addition operations are also two this is the first addition operation and this is the second addition operation which means that each butterfly operation or a single two point butterfly operation will contain two complex multiplications and two complex additions now we are going to develop an optimized implementation of a single two point butterfly structure which can produce the same output sample value C and D but with lesser computations so let's see how we can reduce the computation in a single butterfly structure now let's come to use the property of total factors as we just discussed in each single two point butterfly operation we will have two total factors the first total factor will be WNK while the second total factor will be WNK plus N by 2 if you will compare the values of both total factors you will just find a difference of a sign between them so WNK plus N by 2 are nothing but simply the negative times of WNK and you can also verify this thing by uh, substituting different values of N and K here we have mentioned three different examples let's say uh, we are considering the total factors at the two point DFT stage uh, at the two point EFT stage we have two total factors W20 and W21 so what is the relation between W21 and W20 the value of W21 is minus 1 while the W20 is equal to 1 so it shows that W21 which is minus 1 is negative times of 1 so in that butterfly operation you will find W20 on the diagonal line while W21 on the straight line and the only difference between their values is of the negative sign now let's come to the 4 point EFT stage uh, you will find W43 and W41 total factors in a single butterfly operation and what is the value of W43 W43 is equal to plus J and W41 is minus J so what is the relation between plus J and minus J plus J is negative times of minus J which shows that W43 is equal to negative times of W41 
Now let's come to the 8-point EFT stage uh, in a butterfly operation where you will find W83 as the first total factor. The other total factor will be W87. And what is the relation between them? They are W87 is just negative times of W83. And here you can also verify with their values W87 is equal to 0 0.707 plus J.707 while the value of W83 is minus 0 0.707 minus J.707 which shows that W87 is negative times of W83. So by using the symmetry property of the total factors we can replace W and K plus N by 2 total factors by minus W and K. So here we have replaced W and K plus N by 2 total factor by negative W and K. So the sample value D will be equal to A minus W and K times B. Now as we can see in both C and D equation we have to multiply B with W and K only once. So there is no need to perform two different multiplication operations. We can multiply the B sample value with the same total factor which is W and K. And this negative sign can be incorporated during the addition phase. So we are going to multiply B with W and K which will be used here and also here and this negative sign or this minus one can be incorporated during the addition operation like this one because subtraction is also an addition so this is how we can implement an optimized two-point butterfly structure where we are required to multiply b with w and k only once there will be only a single multiplication performed between B sample and a W N K total factor. So in a single two point butterfly structure, there will be a single complex multiplication and two complex addition operations. Now after discussing the required number of computations for a single two point optimized butterfly operation, now we can find the required computations for the whole radix 2 FFT structure. For that purpose, we first have to find two things. Total number of stages in the radix 2 FFT structure for endpoints. Similarly, total number of butterfly operations per stage or in a single stage. After finding these two things, we can find total number of butterfly operations in the whole structure. For, uh, to calculate this thing, we have to just multiply number of butterfly operations per stage with the number of stages present in the FFT structure. So let's visit the Radix to FFT structure once again. This is the Radix to FFT structure for eight points. The first thing which we have to find is the number of stages. As we already discussed this thing in detail in the previous lecture, in three stages, we will get the final output. In the first stage, we will get the two-point DFT output. In the second stage, we will get the four-point DFT output. And in the third stage or in the last stage, we will get the eight-point DFT output. So in three stages, we are getting the final output when the value of n was eight. Similarly, let's assume our input signal contains 16 samples. Then in the first stage, we will get the two-point DFT output. In the second stage, we will get four-point DFT output. In the third stage, we will get eight-point DFT outputs. And in the last stage, we will get the 16-point DFT output. So in that case, after four stages, we will get the final output. It shows that the number of stages are log base two of n because if n is equal to eight, then number of stages are 3. If n is equal to 16, the number of stages are 4. So total number of stages in radix to FFT structure are log base 2 of n. Now let's come to the number of butterfly operations in a single stage. So just focus on a single stage, which is this one. Stage number one at which we are getting the 2.DFT output. 
we have to count the number of butterfly operations in this stage so this is the first butterfly operation this is the second butterfly operation this is the third one and this is the fourth one so in the first stage we have observed four butterfly operations now let's come to the second stage in this stage we are again observing four butterfly operations because this green color butterfly represent the first butterfly operation this purple color cross structure represents another butterfly operation so these are two butterfly operations having four total factors in all because each butterfly operation will contain two total factors so you can also count the number of butterfly operations with the help of total factors as well si similarly here we are observing two butterfly operations this blue color cross structure representing one butterfly operation and this red color cross structure representing another butterfly operation so overall we are observing four butterfly operations in this stage also similar is the case for the last stage in this stage we are again observing four butterfly operations the first butterfly operation is this blue one the second butterfly operation is this purple one the third butterfly operation is this green one and the last butterfly operation is this red one so again in this stage we are observing four butterfly operations so this is the case when the value of n was 8 because the number of samples were 8 so what is the relation between 8 and 4 so number of butterfly operations per stage is simply equal to n divided by 2 in this case 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 